Hello, this is Sir Boyet. Are you ready? Before we start in this lesson, we will have a review first about physical and chemical properties. The characteristics of material or matter that can be readily observed without changing its composition such as hardness, brittleness, elasticity, malleability, and conductivity is known as physical property. When one or more physical properties of materials change, it is said to have undergone physical change. For example, evaporation of water into gas is a physical change. Example of physical property is hardness. Hard materials such as stones, wood, metals can be used to construct buildings, bridges, and other infrastructures. A chemical property can be observed only when the materials undergo change in composition. These are biodegradability, flammability, combustibility, and the likes. Change in composition of material is known as chemical change. For example, burning of wood is a chemical change. Example of chemical property are combustibility, flammability. For example, alcohol and gasoline, which are used as fuel in cars, are highly combustible. From previous lesson, you have learned that matter has two properties, physical and chemical. Both of these properties have effects on matter. However, this lesson will focus on chemical property. Important question, is oxygen needed in chemical chains? Why or why not? Now, let's try! Watch this video of slicing potato, mango, and apple in half. Take note of the...
explore activity title fire out science skills observing note do this activity with the supervision of your teacher or parents time frame is only 15 20 minutes you will need four jars in different sizes four small candles with same size much or lighter timer and roller what to do light one of the candles cover it with small jar using a timer measure how many seconds it takes for the flame of the candles to be put out measure the length of the candle after burns out repeat the procedure using the next size of jar up to the largest jar find out in which jar has the longest and shortest time of putting out the flame of the candle and find out also the longest and shortest candle after burn then record your findings on the chart Now, see the result. We have jars 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we have the time the flame was poured out, length of the candle after burning. In the experiment, the candle needs oxygen from the air to continue burning. If there is absence of oxygen, the candle will not continue to burn. See? Another example affected by the presence of oxygen are fruits. Have you noticed that when your mother cuts fruits and vegetables, some of them change in color? For example, when an apple is cut, the fleshy part of the fruit changes color into brown. This is because the oxygen present in the air reacts with the chemicals present in the fleshy part of the apple. The change in color of the inner fleshy part of the apple is due to its exposure to oxygen. The same phenomena could also be observed in potato and other fruits and vegetables. Let's go beyond! A certain fish pond owner reported that there has been a fish kill in a pond that he owns. The Fisheries Bureau investigated that incident only to find out that the fish pond was overly populated what do you think is the connection of the overpopulation of the fish pan of the fish on the fish pan let's check answer the following questions briefly what is combustion what are the three important things needed for combustion to occur where do we get the oxygen Let's apply. Find out ways on how you can prevent rusting of materials made of iron in your home. You may ask your parents, your guardian about this. Then make a list 
kingdom. It's just like the one shown right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates. Bye-bye.